Hi, we're going to talk about FSH. And if your FSH is elevated, does that mean you're not an ideal candidate for IVF? You can't conceive or can you? My name is Lauren Brown. I'm the clinical director of AccuBalance Wellness Center in Vancouver, BC, Canada. And I'm a doctor of Chinese medicine and a clinical hypnotherapist. We want your hormones to be in balance, obviously, to have that peak fertility potential. And one of the hormones that they test as part of a routine fertility workup is your FSH, your follicle stimulating hormone. The FSH um, from the brain to the ovaries, um, basically it's telling the follicles that, that contain your eggs to grow. And so the FSH from the brain is grow, grow, grow. That's the brain telling the follicles to grow. And when the follicles start to grow, they holler back to the brain, we hear you, we hear you in the form of estradiol. And so if they are growing and they're saying, we hear you, we hear you, then the brain quiets the FSH. It doesn't talk as loud in it. So it still says grow, grow, grow. It continues to tell you to tell the ovaries to grow those follicles, but it quiets it down. And so the FSH is usually uh, lower as um, you move through that early part of your cycle. However, and I will mention that they usually test it on day three, sometimes day two, but day three of your menstrual bleed, they'll test many hormones and FSH is always tested along with estradiol. If the FSH is loud, or is, I'm sorry, if the FSH is elevated, that means the brain is loud and it's saying grow, grow, grow. It's not hearing anything because the follicles aren't screaming back, we hear you. And so it gets louder, grow, grow, grow. It tries to increase the volume of its voice, higher FSH to get those follicles to grow. Some of the reasons, um, the most common reasons why um, you will have elevated FSH is because of quality or quantity of those follicles. So if they're not responding to the FSH um, hormone, then it could be you just don't have a lot of follicles. So they're not very loud at um, telling the brain that we're, we hear you, that we're growing, or the quality. So they're not responding to the hormone of FSH and they're not growing. What can you do about this if you have elevated FSH? And does this mean you're not a candidate for IVF? I will share that women with high FS, FSH can get pregnant and do get pregnant. And women with elevated FSH can still go through an IVF cycle and get take home babies. It may mean you're not an ideal candidate, meaning there is a higher risk factor that the IVF cycle will not work because of the elevated FSH, but it doesn't necessarily mean impossible. So if you have elevated FSH, do seek out your um, reproductive endocrinologist to know what steps to do next. And also contact a natural clinic like us here at AccuBalance, where they're doing naturopathy and Chinese medicine to help optimize your egg quality. Now I'll share with you an example of a woman I saw in the fall of 2019, she had her AMH, anti-malarian hormone and FSH and estradiol tested. Estradiol was in normal range, but her F and her FSH was at seven. So that's below 10, that was a nice number. And her AMH was 1.4. She was having trouble conceiving. A year later in the fall, still no natural conception. She hadn't moved into any ART, IVF-like procedures. And in 2020, a year later, her AMH went from 1.4 to about 0 0.5 uh, in the American values, nanograms per milliliters, and her FSH went from seven to 25.5. Now she shared that she had a lot of stress and things going on in her life during that time, that one year period. Her doctor didn't think that that could make a difference. It's based on her age, she was in her late thirties um, at the time. And, um, and just that was her, her circumstances and stress may exasperate things, but they didn't think that was enough. Um, to cause that high elevation. Now, um, I started seeing her in early 2021. We used diet and lifestyle. We did a lot of nutrient supplements. Um, we used acupuncture and laser um, acupuncture to support her. And within two and a half months, she conceived for the first time naturally. Unfortunately, she miscarried that pregnancy early on. It was a chemical pregnancy. She was quite excited that she had her first pregnancy. She decided to move into an IVF fairly quickly after the miscarriage. And unfortunately, that cycle got canceled because only one follicle started to grow. Um, so they canceled her cycle. We continued our treatments, but we added Chinese herbal medicine into the mixture that we were doing with her. So we we're doing still diet. Um, we we're doing more mind-body stress reduction techniques. Um, the acupuncture and acupuncture laser continued, and we added Chinese herbs. And in her next IVF cycle, we continued the herbal medicine along with her IVF medications. 
And in this case, she got a much better response. Five embryos grew up to day five blastocysts. Four were able to be biopsied and uh, two came back that have the potential to make babies, so genetically screened. So a much different um, scenario there. And remember, this woman had an elevated FSH of 25, and this IVF happened um, when she was close to turning 41. So what can you do if your FSH is elevated? Well, again, talk to your reproductive endocrinologist. This is not a time to really delay. This is a time to find out what can you do to help you conceive um, sooner than later. Seek out a natural fertility clinic like us here at AccuBalance, where we can do things to help optimize your egg quality. Because if your FSH is elevated, one of the reasons could be egg quality. And so if you have some nutritional deficiencies, if you have poor blood flow to the reproductive system, if you have oxidative stress and some toxicities in the body or hormonal imbalances, maybe if we can correct those, maybe then your eggs, your follicles can reach their peak fertility potential, and then they can respond better in IVF or natural uh, cycles. So those are the two things I would recommend if you notice your FSH is elevated. I do want to reiterate that having elevated FSH makes you not an ideal candidate for IVF, but it doesn't mean you're not a candidate. So if you're 30 with an elevated FSH and you're 40 with an elevated FSH, everything else being equal except your age, the 30 year old has a much higher chance of conceiving naturally or through an IVF. So FSH is one marker, it's an important marker. However, if it's elevated, it doesn't mean you cannot do IVF. It doesn't mean you cannot conceive naturally. Women do conceive naturally with an elevated FSH. Women do get take-home babies from IVF with an elevated FSH. However, it does increase the risk factor of you not being an ideal candidate. So do seek out your IVF center, your reproductive endocrinologist, and seek out your acubalance Lake clinic in your city if you know you have an elevated FSH. I hope this tip was helpful. And again, keep sending your questions. I appreciate receiving your questions. And I hope these short little videos um, add some hope and some ideas and suggestions for you to reach your peak fertility potential.